Hi, my name's Chloe and I run Conclara and we offer a free kit. So I am today just going to take you through that free kit and show you how to stitch it. So the reason we do this is we just love embroidery and we just know how good it is for you, how having a creative hobby, being able to do something with your hands, learning something new is just so good for you and so satisfying and so good for your mental health. So we want to introduce as many people as possible to embroidery and um, yeah, we just know you're going to fall in love with it. So that's the idea behind the free kit and I'm just now going to give you a quick tutorial. If you've got the free kit and you're just looking for a bit of help, this is how you do it. So this is what we're going to be stitching. So you can change the colour of the thread if you want to. This one's done in blue and this one's done in red, um, but we send you some black thread. So we're going to start with our thread and with embroidery, you often use this stranded cotton and you're going to sometimes need to split the cotton to give you the right thickness of thread to stitch with. And so we are asking you to stitch with three strands. So what you need to do is just pull apart the three strands on each side. Each thread is made up of six strands. So you pull apart three and just slowly separate them. So you need to cut a length of 40 to 50 centimeters. Um, that's the ideal to stitch with. And then, and then we're going to thread our needle. So I've just wet the end of my thread and I'm just going to thread the needle. It's quite, we give you quite a big needle, so you should be okay threading it. And then I've put a knot in one end. So don't double knot the thread. You just need a knot in one end and then a little tail of thread here of about 10 centimeters. So your thread for stitching should be between 30 and 50 centimeters long. If you keep it shorter, if you're a beginner, that's probably a good idea. Now, I'm just gonna show you how we put the fabric in the hoop. So you unscrew your hoop and then you put the bigger hoop over the top of the design. We're just trying to get it central. You can always move it after you've stitched it, but it's good to get it central first time. And then just push the bigger hoop over and tighten it up. You want this to be like a drum. The tighter that is, the easier it is to stitch. So keep turning the screw. This can be a little bit hard. But that's really nice and tight now, so I'm going to go for that. So in your pack, you will have got this cardboard circle and some wadding, which we include these with all of our kits because we like to make it as easy as possible for you to finish off your kit. So once you've finished, you need to trim the edge of your fabric here to around two to three centimetres. Don't go too short or it won't fold in. Then you need to cut your wadding to the size of the backing disc because that wadding is going to sit in the back of your hoop. Now this just gives it, you don't get this in ordinary embroidery kits, this is something extra that we provide, as is the back. Now you fold over your fabric and you push in the, wood, the cardboard back. And what the wadding does is just give it a really lovely kind of quilted effect. It just makes it look lovely and kind of padded and raised and just looks beautiful when you hang it on your wall. And so that is a really quick introduction to our free kit. So I hope you found that helpful. Please email us if you have any questions. There's a little instructions card inside the pack as well. So hopefully that helps you. But if you are getting into embroidery, if you've done your free kit and you're really loving it, then why not check out our embroidery subscription box? So this is our monthly embroidery subscription box and we go through loads of new stitches. It's basically a way of kind of learning more about embroidery, but still in a really beginner friendly way. So we do a different project every month and there are lovely little extras in the box that come through your door as well. And it's a lovely community of people that are learning about embroidery together. So that's Hoop Club. But thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy more embroidery to come.